Hello everyone. Hope you're having a good day. It's Wednesday. It's almost uh, Thanksgiving Day. And uh, today I, I just thought as I, I came across this in an email that it was sent to me and it's called 100 Reasons, 100 Remarkable Reasons to Thank God This Thanksgiving. Uh, it's written by Andrew Hess. And so I, I thought I'd just share with these. I'll just walk through these, all of these. I, I won't comment. I'll let you uh, it's, a, it's a good sort of checklist. I'll let you decide if, if it applies to you or not. But a uh, hundred reasons to be thankful. I'm going to add another one. Uh, today is my oldest daughter Mary's 18th birthday. And I, I'm so thankful for her. And of course, she was the, the first to make me a father. And I'm so proud of, of the uh, young lady that she's becoming. I mean, she's entering adulthood now at age 18. And I, I'm so thankful for her, all she means to me and our family. Uh, she is such a blessing, and uh, she loves the Lord, and, and she's just such a sweet girl, and, and just so thankful for her. Uh, and so I, I just add that as my number one. So I'll give you a hundred more here, a uh, hundred remarkable reasons to thank God this Thanksgiving. Uh, the first, and they're broken up into categories, and I'll give you the category as I read through them, uh, just so you, you kind of have an idea of what, what each one, each category is. And so, so the, the first category is the place and timing of your birth. Number one, thank God for your conception. Number two, thank God for knitting you together in your mother's womb. Number three, if you survived your mother's pregnancy, thank God. Number four, if you survived your birth, thank God. If, number five, if you were born in a free country, thank God. Number six, if you were born to parents who loved you and provided for you, thank God and thank them. So thank you, mom and dad, uh, <laughs> for, for uh, uh, loving me and providing for me. Uh, number seven, if you enjoyed growing up with siblings, cousins, aunts, uncles, and grandparents, uh, thank God, uh, all of your family. The second category is life before you can remember. Number eight, if someone changed your diapers, thank God. Number nine, if someone woke up with you in the middle of the night to feed and hold you, uh, thank God. Number uh, uh, 10, if someone cared for you when you were sick, thank God. Uh, number 11, if someone read to you and played with you, thank God. Number 12, if someone taught you how to crawl, walk, and ride a bike, thank God. The next uh, category is protection. Number 13, if you ever... If you were ever almost severely hurt or killed, thank God. Number 14, if you ever survived a car accident, thank God. Number 15, if you were ever seriously sick and lived, thank God. Number 16, if someone ever protected you from harm, thank God. Number 17, if you ever survived an earthquake, hurricane, or other severe weather event, thank God. Number 18, if you've ever, if you've ever been kept from an addiction, thank God. Number 19, if you've ever overcome an addiction, thank God. Number 20, thank God for all the times he has protected you when you were unaware. Uh, it's an interesting one. You know, we never know how, how, how much the Lord has done for us. Uh, it's probably a lot more than we realize. Uh, the next section is called health. Number 21, for diseases, disorders, or cancers you've never had, thank God. Number 22, for diseases, disorders, or cancers you've had and overcome, thank God. Number 23, if you've never needed an ambulance, thank God. Number 24, if you've never had a broken bone, thank God. Number 25, if you've never had a mental, emotional disorder, thank God. Number 26, if you enjoy each of the five senses, thank God. Number 27, if you can walk, run, jump, and climb, thank God. For every, number 28, for every automatic bodily process keeping you alive at this very moment, thank God. Number 29, estimate the number of days you've enjoyed a clean bill of health and thank God. It says, for example, 20 years equals 7,300 days. Uh, so whatever number of days you've had a bill, bill of clean health, uh, thank God. Food, number 30, if you enjoy three meals a day, thank God. 31, if you can't remember the last time you went to bed hungry, thank God. Number 32, if, you, if food rarely makes you sick, thank God. Number 33, if you don't have any food allergies, thank God. Number 34, if you have access to a variety of foods, thank God. 35, if you've ever 
receive food as a gift. Thank God. Faith. 36. If you've come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ, thank God. 37. If you've grown in faith, grace, holiness, joy, love, hope, wisdom, or obedience, thank God. Number 38. If you've ever enjoyed times of fellowship with brothers and sisters in Christ, thank God. 39. If you've ever been threatened because of your faith, thank God. Number 40. If you, if you regularly pray or fast secretly, thank God. Number 41, if you've ever grown through the ministry of God's word, thank God. 42, if you've ever been protected or corrected from error, thank God. 43, if, you, if other people regularly pray for you, thank God. Peace is the next section. If you've never woken up in a war zone, thank God. 45, if you've never hid for your life, thank God. 46, if people you don't know and some you do fight to protect your freedom, thank God. Number 47, if you've never lost a loved one to war, thank God. Then the next one is utilities. Number 48, if, you've run, if you have running water in your home, thank God. 49, if that water is clean, hasn't made you sick or killed you, thank God. Number 50, if you can take a hot shower whenever you want, thank God. Number 51, if you have indoor plumbing, thank God. Number 52, thank God for electricity. 53, if you breathe fresh air, thank God. 54, if you can heat your home in the winter and cool it in the summer, thank God. 55, if people regularly come to your house and take away your trash, thank God. Number 56, if people bring your mail six days a week, thank God. Now, education. 57, remember as many elementary teachers as you can and thank God. 58, remember as many high school, middle school teachers and coaches as you can and thank God. 59, remember as many college professors and professional mentors as you can and thank God. 60, for every time you made it to graduation, thank God. 61, if you had the talent or ability to participate in a sport, choir, band, club, etc., thank God. 61, estimate how many books you've read and learned from and thank God. Uh, relationships, number 63, if you've ever enjoyed laughing with a friend, thank God. Number 64, if you've ever had someone hold you while you cried, thank God. 65, if you ever had a friend unexpectedly meet a need, thank God. 66, if you've ever had someone tell you they love you, thank God. Number 67, if you've ever gotten married, thank God. 68, if God has blessed you with children, thank God. 69, thank God for every member of your family. Number 70, thank God for every member of your extended family. Number 71, thank God for strangers who have blessed you. The next category is work. Number 72, if you've ever had a job, thank God. 73, if you've ever had a great boss, thank God. 74, if you have a retirement fund, Thank God. 75, if your work has been helpful to other people, thank God. 76, if you've ever been promoted or received a bonus, thank God. 77, if you've ever been paid to travel, thank God. 78, if you've ever been paid for freelance work, thank God. 79, estimate your lifetime gross income and thank God. 80, if you have a measure of financial wisdom, thank God. Next category is leisure. Number 81, if you have a favorite book, movie, show, artist, song, painting, etc., thank God. Number 82, if you've ever been to a live show, thank God. 83, if you don't have to work on weekends, thank God. 84, thank God for paid holidays. 85, if you enjoy your pets, thank God. 85, uh, I just did that one. 86, if you have a soft bed, thank God. 87, thank God for all the natural beauty available in the place you live. 88, if you enjoy regular times of rest and relaxation, thank God. 89, if you have time for hobbies and games, thank God. 90, if you have people with whom you enjoy spending your free time, thank God. Next category is, is trials. Number 91, if you've ever gone through a trial and haven't lost hope, thank God. Number 92, if the Lord has ever used difficulty for your, for your good, thank God. 
Number 93, if you've ever brought fears, worries, anxieties, and sadness to Christ and been helped, thank God. 94, thank God for every time you've worshipped him in the midst of great loss, unrealized dreams, or chronic pain. 95, if you've ever waited a long time for something, thank God. 96, thank God for his purposes in your pain. 97, thank God that he promises to work all things for your good. 98, thank God for that, every, that our every trial, temptation, and difficulty is temporary. 99, thank God that his grace is sufficient for you. Uh, I love that one. Number 100, thank God for the blessed hope and all our Lord is preparing for you if you belong to, to him in Christ. Uh, beautiful. I, I love that list. And, and, I, and I think about my own personal life. Uh, most, most of those I can check off. Yes, yes, yes. I need to thank God for that. And uh, I, I, I'm guessing, I don't know if anybody would hit all hundred, but, but we could all, we all probably come pretty close. And that's just the, the wonderful, uh, well, it's the wonderful grace of God, the way he loves us and takes care of us. And we have so much to be thankful for. Well, let's close with a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We could say it a hundred times. We could say it 500 times. We could say it an unlimited number of times. You are so good to us. And thank you for every blessing, every good gift that we have in our life comes from you. And we just praise you for that. We thank you for that. Uh, continue to help us, Lord, in these days. Help us, to, help, us re help us to recognize your faithfulness, recognize your goodness to us, the, the way you have blessed us. And I, I thank you for this list. And some of those things I, I really hadn't thought to give thanks to you for. But, but I do, Lord. I thank you for each and everything on this list that, that applies to my life. And Lord, just help us to be thankful in these days. We need that uh, more than anything. And be with us, Lord, in the days ahead. Uh, Lord, as the coronavirus continues to expand and even now have a, a couple more in our church that tested positive, and Lord, we just, just ask your blessing on them as they uh, deal with this virus and be with those other others that are dealing with it, be with the doctors and nurses, those giving tests and all, Lord, just protect them and be near to them, Lord. Uh, keep them safe. Be with those that continue to look for answers for this. And just help us all to have wisdom in the things we do or don't do in the days ahead, Lord, as we uh, seek to, to slow this down. Lord, just, just help us. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love. Uh, but we just, just thank you of all for the, above all for the gift of Jesus and what he means to us. Uh, what a what an incredible blessing our salvation is and and all the good things that come along with it. Lord, we just give you praise. We give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you found this list helpful. And uh, you can, can go through, just spend some time giving thanks to the Lord over while, all that he has done for us. Uh, we give him praise. Thanks for, for watching. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. Uh, we'll, we'll do something tomorrow uh, on Thanksgiving, but uh, if you happen not to see it tomorrow, have a great Thanksgiving. Have a great time with family and, and giving thanks for all the Lord has done. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.